Hi everybody, welcome to the Repton Connect recipe box. Uh, this is hopefully the first of many. Um, the recipe that I'm going to show you today is a really, really simple recipe. Um, very quick to make and has a great range of other uses as well. So once you've got the basic recipe down, you'll be able to turn it into loads of other different recipes as well. So what I'm going to do today is talk to you about lentil ragu. So it's really quick, really simple, and you'll only need a few basic ingredients. You'll need some celery, an onion, a couple of carrots, some bay leaves, a tin of lentils, a tin of tomatoes, and some mixed herbs, as well as some salt and pepper and a stock cube. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our vegetables. So for this, you need a couple of carrots, your onion, and a stick of celery. And Effectively what we want to do here is have all the vegetables at the same size so that they cook at the same rate. So we're just going to do some basic chopping. So we're looking for a small dice about this size for all of your vegetables, okay? Don't worry if you're not very good at chopping, it's not my forte either. So again, with the onion, you want that similar size. And then again, same with your carrots. Okay, now that all of our vegetables are chopped, I've got a pan here with a big slug of olive oil in there. And we're just gonna pop, this isn't hot yet, I'm just gonna pop all of these vegetables in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly cook these for about 10 minutes until they're nice and soft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait and see for this onion to turn transparent and for the carrots to soften. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna cook this over a very low heat for about 10 or 15 minutes to just help these vegetables break down a little bit. We don't want them going brown, so we don't want to fry them necessarily. We just want them to soften in the oil. So as you can see, the onion's starting to go a little bit transparent, so that's what we're looking for. We're just gonna give it a few more minutes, just cooking the carrot out. Obviously that's gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, so after these have been cooking for about 10 minutes, you'll see that the onion's gone pretty see-through and the celery and carrots have softened down a little bit. So we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients now. So first of all, we're gonna add a couple of bay leaves. So it depends on the size of your bay leaf. If you've got kind of medium-sized bay leaf, then I'd put two in. Just give that a, a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to add our lentils, our tomatoes, and our stock Cuban herbs. They can go straight in. Tomatoes. Okay, just going to add a stock cube. And about a teaspoon of mixed herbs. Okay, so we're going to give that a quick stir. If you're not using chopped tomatoes, if you've got whole ones, just break them up a little bit. And we're just going to add about 100 millilitres of water as well. Okay, so we're going to increase the heat to just slightly, slightly higher, just to get that boiling away. Once it's boiling, we're going to let it simmer for about 10-15 minutes, just to make sure all those vegetables are nice and soft and the flavours will come together. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10 minutes. So it's thickened up nicely, so we're just going to taste the seasoning. This is the point where you want to add any salt or pepper. 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I've also just popped a pan of water on to boil here. So the great thing about this recipe is it can go with a number of different things. So we like to serve ours with just pasta, a bit of grated cheese on top, but you can also put this basic mix into the oven um, with some sausages and turn it into a, a sausage and lentil bake. You can turn this into a lasagna. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. So if you have a look on the um, Repton community site, you'll find a couple of other recipes that you can use this ragu for. So I'm just going to put my pasta in. I like to break mine in half, just because we've got a little boy, makes it a bit easier for him to eat. And we're just going to boil that for about 9 to 10 minutes. Um, best way to test your pasta, to see if it's cooked, is to, is to just taste it. You could throw it against the wall, but then you'll end up with pasta on your wall. Okay, so now our ragu is cooked, our pasta's cooked. I'm just going to take out the, uh, the bay leaves, you don't want to eat those. And then we're ready to serve. So, portion of spaghetti. Some of our lentil ragu. And then if you fancy it, just a little grating of cheese over the top. And there you have it. This is our super easy lentil ragu.